Hi guys, another video, it's been a while since I've done one, um, just thought I'd do a video today, uh, fish are looking okay, swimming around, still feeding a little bit, water's currently 14 degrees-ish, um, I'll just do a quick video of the fish, I'm going to next clean the nexus out, take that easy pod, or take the easy out of the middle to uh, give it a good clean, last time I cleaned it I noticed there was some gunk growing underneath the easy, so thought I'd take this opportunity to do a video and keep you guys updated as to what's going on. Speak to you soon. I think the last time I did a video I was cleaning my multi-bay filter out but that was back in June I think it was. Um, since then obviously I've had the Nexus 220 plus installed. Uh, we did it ourselves. Just got a bottom drain coming in usual and a return on a pump to three inlets via the s seat pump one of them's straight in the pond down there but the other two are via the s seat pump but not on at the moment the pond's still at 15 14 15 so it's not too bad so this is the first first bubble up first boil so i'll do this do a second one and then i'll come back to you once i've got the easy out to find out what's growing underneath it so the bit Okay, so so two boils now, taking it easy out, and this is what I found growing underneath it. It's like a massive algae. It's come through and it's not gone through the bottom drain, so need to give that a clean. Um, I should also give a underneath of the easier quick blast as well. Make sure I don't lose any media, and then uh, should put it back together. Obviously, keep the center pipe in, otherwise that's just gonna fill up from the outer chamber so uh, I'll come back to you shortly I have to remember next time that the bottom of the easy is quite sharp yes okay that's the inside of the nexus cleaned it's not too bad if it's only every few months I think it's not been touched since it was spoiling in June end of June so uh, yeah it's clean so I'll clean out the uh, the easy now, the underneath that, see what state that's in. I'm not sure if you can see down there, but it's quite quite dirty on the inside, so I'll give it a clean, then I'll turn it upside down and see what that's like. So as you can see, the underneath that is disgusting. So it's still after a few months, so uh, yeah, if you guys out there have got Nexus, just remember to give, give the easy a big clean every now and then. It helps to flow the water through. Right, I'm going to clean it off now. This is what's come out of the bottom of the easy. It's amazing how much crap there is in there. Right, that's the easy back in. I should give it another boil just in case there's any bits and pieces at the bottom. But, jeez, that was a lot of crap. Okay, this is the third boil after I put the easy, well, was the first boil after putting the easy, put the easy back in. And you can just tell the colour of the water that's coming out still from all the media that's inside the easy. Hmm. Should give it another boil after this empty and uh, see what it's like then. Okay, so this is the fourth boil in total, second one after the easy was cleaned. Um, it's, it's not that brilliant, but it's um, a lot better than what it was. Drain this and start filling the pond back up. We've lost three or four inches, five inches, so yeah, have to do this more regularly. Bad pond, mate. Right, okay, so that's now filling back up. What to say, half an hour, 40 minutes to fill up. Flow coming through. So, come out with some finish. sodium thiosulfate to the filters, uh, homemade. Put a link in the description of a short that I did for it. Time to give a window a bit of a clean. Normally do this once a week, once a fortnight, depending on how bad how bad it gets. But it's not too bad today. That's another short in the description of a window cleaning video I did earlier this year. Right, that's the window cleaned. It wasn't that bad to be honest. We'll leave it a couple of more weeks now. Get to see the fish. All disappeared. Typical. It's Migoshki from TBR 
ground show. I've got an extra clip to the end of this video. Made him out, measured him. Catch you in a bit. Time for a nice cup of coffee. If anyone's interested in swapping mugs, send me a message, let me know, and uh, we can sort something out. Right, that's going to be the end of the video. I should put a couple more clips on the end of some fish I got out. Um, a yellow kajaku that we got from Clearwater earlier this year, and also the goshki in Jack the Baldwin Reefer's grow and show that he did in association with A Class Koi. So uh, I'll put them on the end. So until the next one, see you later. This is my little grow and show from Baldwin Reefer's Goshki grow and show that I got back in uh, July, I think it was. It's really darkened up over the last few months. I've uh, got size as well, I'll, uh, so we can measure him. That is around about 27 28 cm. So I think it was about 14 15 16 cm when we got him. So, uh yeah, he's done pretty well. This is another one of our new fish that we got earlier this summer. He's a, a yellow kajaku. Seems to work quite nicely. So we can get a size on him. Easier said than done. <laughs> okay, I think he's about 20 cm, so he's grown four or five centimeters. I think I have to go back and check. He's coming along nicely. This is from Clearwater Koi down in Ashford.